Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpio's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, info is down in the description box below. Please do use that link. There are imposters about and know that whenever I do a personal tarot reading for you, I will be doing it on video face to face. I will always show my face and send you an unlisted link to this YouTube channel that will be on here forever. All right, Scorpio, so you have the Moon card, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do feel that messages from Spirit are coming towards you. This could be, okay, these messages are either about work, Scorpio, or about building something, possibly with this uh, King of Pentacles here, okay? This is hidden from you right now, so I don't feel that you've gotten these message messages yet, these specific ones. So let's see what this is all about. Tell me what's hidden from Scorpio with the Moon card. Tell me about this Moon card for Scorpio. What is this Moon card about for Scorpio? Two of Cups. So this has to do with a uh, love situation here, a soulmate, soulmate twin flame energy. Tell me more. What about this two of cups? The magician. So manif manifestation of this individual. Hmm. Okay. Tell me more. That's Gemini energy. Temperance. Okay, Temperance talks about its Sagittarius energy, but it talks about patience. It talks about alchemy, right? Creation. Knowing that you have everything that you have everything that you need in order to create what you want and what you desire. I feel like they're also pushing you towards something here. It could be this King of Pentacles. Tell me um, more about this Knight of Swords energy. Tell me more about this message here. Two of Pentacles. Okay. So possibly a decision. It could be that there are a couple people in your life right now. So we have the Empress here. Libra and Taurus energy. The Queen of Wands. So it could possibly be a Taurus, a Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag. So I feel like you've got a couple of people. And if there's a decision that you're needing to make between a couple of people, I feel like this message is going to help tremendously regarding this decision. Tell me, um, tell me about all right, how does Scorpio feel about the Empress here? Tell me. <laughs> the Hierophant, Taurus energy again. So I feel like you see this person as stable. You see this person as wise, possibly traditional. Well, it could be traditional or untraditional. I'm feeling like you want to manifest something here. There's something about this hair font wand that's screaming manifestation with this individual. How else do you feel about this individual? Yeah, see? This is your wish, Scorpio. So how does this 
Empress feel about Scorpio? The sun. They feel that you're their happiness. They may even find, find you to be a soulmate. I can't speak today. <laughs> the nine of pentacles. They see or feel that you're abundant, that your confidence that you've planted seeds in your garden, you know how to manifest. I'm getting strong. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. How do you feel about this Queen of Wands? Who's this Queen of Wands? Judgment. This could be somebody from the past. So it could be a decision between the past and the present. The Emperor. Aries, Taurus energy. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to change here. You're going to be getting a lot of messages about destiny, about where your destiny lies, about I'm um, even getting purpose. Because I feel like whatever this purpose is, it could involve another here. I feel like whatever this message is, it's going to give you more confidence in your movement towards whatever your wishes and desires are. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Page of Wands. So you're getting some good news. Could be in the form of a message, some type of a text message, email. So we have the Nine of Swords here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Four of Cups. You may fear disappointment in a situation here. This could involve work, but this could also involve love. The Seven of Wands. Somebody may be setting boundaries or you may be setting boundaries. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like work is going to be put into this situation though. Not why the nine of swords why this anxiety and fear the six of cups there's a strong intensity to this connection and i feel like that may scare you okay especially it, six of cups for me as a reader is also twin flame so if this is twin flame energy and it's new to you, Scorpio, it could be, you know, that's what's evoking this fear. But it's not going to put you in a state of fear in the sense that you're not going to put work into this because you absolutely are. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Ten of Wands. So somebody feels left out in the cold here. I'm not sure why. This could be part of that fear. Six of Wands. Somebody not getting the attention that they desire here with the Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like a lot of this is fear. And this is all about overcoming this fear, right? Because it's just weighing so heavy on you, on them, on both of you, okay? One or both of you could be moving because there's also optimism here. There's victory here. There's overcoming these fears that are present. So don't be afraid to communicate these fears here, Scorpio, because I feel that that is part of the process. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is an opportunity here. So I feel that whatever this message is, Scorpio, they want you to do something. I'm not sure what it is. All right, I got to ask. Q 
King of Cups. It could just be listening to your intuition. It could be expression of feelings. But the King of Cups energy is you, right? That talks about your intuition, your creativity. Connecting with spirit. They could want you to connect more. But I feel like whatever they have to say is deep, is important. And it has something to do with you moving forward and your movement forward. So, what is your advice, Scorpio? What's Scorpio's advice regarding this situation? Capable. You can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arise. And insights. See beyond appearances, masks, cliches, and cultural stereotypes to gain insights. Interesting. Insight, we have number 70, which is the number seven, and seven is a very spiritual number. Capable, we have number 30, and that's a three. That is the trinity, the body, mind, and spirit, and the number of manifestation. So, and that's what I'm feeling from this Knight of Wands. Connection with spirit, manifestation, your movement forward. All right, Scorpio, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day. And don't forget, if you order a reading from me, please do so in the description box. Click that link and know that when I do a video, you will see my face and I will send you a link unlisted to this channel. All right, so you have a good one and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste, Scorpio.